Hello guys, this is DJ Josie and I would like to show a generator. This is the first part of a series of how to use this generator. In this tutorial, I'm just show you the basics. You can find the generator on bhpcode.hu slash mycycle and you can select English to be able to understand what's going on here. First, when you develop a program, you didn't need to create previously the SQL tables because this uh, generator provides you the SQL code to create the table. I'm gonna open the PHP my admin because I will need it. Let's try and add a table name. For example, I will create a newsletter table. Its primary key will be the table's ID. It's usually ID. List field names by comma separated list is a method to add new fields into this project. Let's say I have news title, news body, active insertion date time and username, the owner of this news. Let's say you have a list of the fields and you can set several options for example is required and this field will be a required one and you can select types for the fields the news body should be a uh, longer text and <coughs> let's talk about the types you can select the first is a text field it's a normal way to add data for example titles <coughs> it has a length limit usually password is a type to save password if you select as required you can add md5 or sha1 hash it's kind of an encryption it's useful when you create or develop a user registration form <coughs> all right so the news body should be a text area and let's go to the next one active in a normal case it could be for example a list box or a checkbox in this case that will be a checkbox and it's not a required because when a user sign a new news it should not be active till the administrator accepted it so as a checkbox it's not a required field insertion date time you have here a date time or a date type in this case the date and the time will be inserted here and after the date time list box appears an actual timer insert list box you can select it and say if it's yes the actual date time created on insert so you don't need to add that date it's automatically generated right and username should be a text field but uh, we have several new field types file field upload for example you can add file uploads field and a user could upload a file by this field and of course the process program is right there and you have to create the upload folder if yes you've selected let's say uploads and you need to create uploads folder on your server and set the permission <coughs> I will show these kind of types in the entire tutorials that will be a serial right and of course enabled file types you can define what sort of file types allow to upload now and let's go to the next one htm editor it's very very useful when you create a news store it could create an online htm editor for your admin panel it's useful really another type is a recapture when you create for example a user registration or or a newsletter form you should y use the recapture it is the recapture.net type capture the next type is hidden field you can pass into the form hidden elements for example if it's required on the process side this way you will be checked and if it's a get variable or a post variable you can select it color picker is a way to select colors with a javascript feature it's a pop-up color picker right here it useful of course so let's back and set text field to the username and you have several new types for example I could add a unique property to this field 
and two username cannot be inserted into this table it's useful when you create a user registration you can set for example email and usernames as required field and unique field the username could enter his email address you can add a property to this field that will be an email address and these email addresses will be validated you you inquire for example URL from the user you can test whether it's a URL format or not right and if I inquire a username I can select the username format the English alphabetics and the numerics are accepted right here let's press generate if you select this list box the inserted values will be create a mail to a specified email address you can set that in the code it's useful when you create a news program and the user could insert and send news to your site and you the administrator could see an email when a new content inserted right so this is it I will set that yes and when you're ready you can just run generate if you will forget something you can define a new row and add for example an email address this will be a required field and here is an email address type and now the user could get an email when the news inserted so wh when you press generate you can get lots of codes but don't worry you can download with this link download the generated files just press and open and this is really a full code what should do now let's open a new folder and copy the files from the compressed file first you have to do is to create the connect.php to set up to your mysql account let's open the connect.php and if you haven't got a database you have to create one i will use a new database it will be tutorial so we have here i've opened the connect.php and localhost is the host name the username in my case is root because it's local password is empty and the database name is tutorial second step let's go to mysql database that text file open it and you have a sql code to create the table let's copy and paste and select the database and run as an sql string let's insert a newsletter is right here where the user could insert new news and add his username and email address and i'm in this folder now i show you the codes see <coughs> it is a management code first of all you can add new entry let's say its title is first lessons my username is DJ Jossi and my email address and the news body will be a news it's of course a useful stuff to add an HTML editor one, th one thing, thing I need to add not to send the email goes on localhost I did not set that and if it's active when you go and list it you can see a listing program with a pager and of course you have a search engine included into the generated code you can go and update and if you want to delete you can do it so the insert form in this program the add that php and add that php add that php has a form which is right here add entry and when the submit button has pressed the added that php will be running and here is the insert code to the database and a mail has processed here when you press list table you see the index.php with its listing it has a search form and query from the newsletter table and here you can see the table and it has two URLs to update or delete. The update.php gives you an update for form according to the ID from the URL because the records URL, the records primary key passed in the URL. And when you press submit, 
in the update form the updated PHP will update the table and of course the delete let's say uh, I'm press delete delete.php will ask you are you sure you want to delete if you press yes deleted.php will delete the entry so that was the very very basic how you could create a management code and how you could select different field types and you have lots of variation to create new programs but you have to notice these codes are not full codes so when you create a, a real program you can use for example add and add that, that php and connect that php to create a form you can get ids and you can use whatever you want these codes but um to really use this generator you have to know the the very basics how to code in php so uh, good luck and if you got a question just feel free to ask it in the comment and if you like this tutorial subscribe to my channel and feel free to ask new tutorials right so thank you for your attention and and good luck the site is phpcode.hu slash mysql of course you can have news here where you can ask by the comments right here bye